Welcome back to another episode of Jason's Bricks and Five, where we discuss Lego content in videos of around five minutes. Well, uh, I have a Lego haul, a small one today, and then um, I'm going to quickly show you a good use that I found for uh, these storage carriers I found at Harbor Freight. Uh, but first we'll start with the haul. Now I'm going to be honest, this uh, I, I wasn't planning on opening this before, but I did. Uh, last night we filmed the 100th episode of the A Fool podcast. And um, I had showed the package and I, I got overzealous and opened it. So anyways, the package has been opened, but this is the one from Lego. Uh, you may have seen, I think it was my last video where I said I placed a pick a brick online order and all of the parts and the, the list and everything in there was empty. Lego took care of me. They sent these to me. And that's the first thing I want to make sure that everyone knows is, you know, not all experiences are bad. So, um, you know, they did a good job of, of fixing the issue that I was having. And so here is what I have. Um, so I actually ordered a bunch of animal parts. Uh, that's mostly what it is. There's a few other things in here. Uh, they're all bestsellers. I needed to order a small poodle. Uh, it's actually a friend's poodle, which I normally don't do, but it's the only one I could use. Um, because I made a, a sig fig of my grandfather that passed away last year and his wife, and they have a little dog. So um, I made that for Mother's Day for her. So I needed to get that poodle. So in order to not pay shipping or pay the handling fee, I had to pay you know a certain amount. So I ended up just buying a bunch of things. So I bought some, some turtles, a couple cows, um, a couple different sharks. Um, just some di a few different printed tiles. And then I bought a lot of uh, little parts that I plan on using for some micro builds um, that I'm thinking about doing. So it's just random, you know, like green cones or uh, different things like that. So a lot of those things. Um, one other quick thing I'll just show. This was a haul. So you may have seen my review of the tipper truck. Uh, I did get the missing parts that I needed. I actually needed uh, three things, uh, one of them being the tipper. Uh, so I got those, but I needed to order, I think it was a $10 minimum, and so I had to order a few things. So they had a couple of, you know, uh, different animals. So I got some dogs, I got this alien. I don't know if it's a head that goes on a minifig. I mean, it, it will fit on there. I just don't know if that's what it's from. Uh, hot dog bun. And then there was uh, this little painter figure I thought was kind of cool. It was like two bucks. So, um, so yeah, so that's what I got. And that leads me into the next part of my video. These carriers here, I got at Harbor Freight, and I found that they're really useful for my minifigure parts and animals. Uh, and I'll show you what I mean. Uh, let's see. I guess I should have looked at them before to see. So we'll start with this one here. This is my minifigure one, and it's really nice because it's got four different trays, and they all come out and snap close. And it works well because I've got the legs, torsos, heads, and hairs and hats. So it works really well because I can separate them out. Um, I don't have them mixed up with everything. Like I've got black hair uh, for females, for males, uh, different hats put together. Um, so it's something that I found. And the other part that's really nice about it is I use these IKEA calyx shelves and these fit in here perfectly. So I can actually fit the two of them in there and it works well. Uh, and then up on the top, there's like a little storage area so you can put, you know, some bigger items. Like I have uh, this Lego movie thing in here. So um, yeah, it works quite well. And then the other one, cause like I said, I can stack them too deep in the cubby. The other one I have Lego minifigure accessories. So I've got like weapons and, you know, tools, brooms, those kinds of things. Uh, this one tends to be more everyday items. So you've got like, um, you know, scissors for those kinds of things. Uh, you know, potter, uh, not pottery, uh, planting equipment, things like that. This one is mostly just food items. Um, and it's nice because they do have a few of these that are longer as well as you have the option to make the section, um, you know, more wide. The, the dividers are removable if you'd like. So uh, that's nice. And then I have my animals. Now this one is actually getting kind of full, but it's kind of nice because, you know, I can just 
take my monkeys and, you know, put them... I don't have any monkeys, so we're going to start a new thing. Uh, we'll put them in with the cats, I guess. Um, you know, so we can just do that. And then you can see I've used, you know, I've taken out the divider, so these bigger animals I was just able to put in there. So, um, and I want to say this was uh, like 18 or $20, but frequently at Harbor Freight they have... Uh, coupons, so I think I used like 25% off coupons. Um, so it was kind of a good deal. So, anyways, that's that's how I have used these to separate out my um, minifigs and their accessories. Uh, that way they don't get mixed in with the other parts, and it works well, at least for me. So, um, yeah. But, oh, I guess I have a couple things. I'll have to find a, a place to put these in, but... Uh, that's going to do it for this episode of Jason's Bricks and Five. Um, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Happy building!